Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see how to create baseline flag when the definition of the baseline is the last record on or prior to treatment start. Let us say that one or more collections is possible prior to treatment start and we want to use the latest available result to compare it with the post treatment. So we want to use the latest available result prior to treatment start date to compare with the post treatment assessment. So we should have had the text here as latest available result prior on or prior to treatment start to compare it with post treatment assessments. So we flag the latest result record with y in ablfl variable. So for to indicate that record is being considered as baseline record. So here if you take a look, so multiple assessments could be performed for systolic blood pressure which is a uh, vital sign status it. So let's say these two are the results collected which are prior on or prior to the treatment started. So if this record is the latest record, so we would be flagging that record as y in a variable named ablfl to, to indicate that that record is being considered as the baseline record. So all these other records are being considered as post treatment record because they are collected after treatment started. So if one or more records are present, so we will be using the latest available assessment to indicate that it is baseline flag or baseline record using ablfl is equal to y on that record. So what will we see in this lesson? So we will see how to identify the pre-treatment records, how to identify the latest record within the pre-treatment records, and then how to use that information present on the latest record to populate ablfl as y on the parent data set. Now let us move to the specification. So here in the specification we have the variables uh, below variables have the derivation given. So u sub j d, a d t, param, param c d, param n, eval, a visit, a visit n, and a b l f l. So this lesson is mainly focusing on a b l f l creation, but we will also create some derived variables using S D T M V S data set. So u sub j d, it says equals to the value in V S u sub j d. So which means it is a copy from we white sdtm vital signs data set and then for adt so we are being asked to extract the date portion from vsttc and convert it to numeric value and for param so we are being asked to concatenate the value present in vs position with the value present in vs test and the value present in vs stresu but for vs stresu we are concatenating and opening parenthesis before it and closing parenthesis after it so that the unit would appear within the parenthesis and one more thing to note here is that for vs position we are being asked to convert it into proper case before uh, while creating the param variable then for param cd so we are being asked to check the value present in vs position if it is sitting and then if vs cd is equal to spp then we are being asked to set it to st spp Else, if VS position is equal to sitting and VS test CD is equal to diabp, then we are being asked to set it to STDBP. And for paramen, we are being asked to uh, set it to 1 if param CD is equal to STSBP. Else, if param CD is equal to STDBP, then we are being asked to use a value 2 in paramen variable. And for eval variable, we are being asked to use the values present in VS STR ESN and assign directly to it. And then for a visit, so it says for the source records, if visit is equal to screening, then set to screening, else if set to proper case values of visit. So wherever visit is equal to screen, in wherever SDTM VS dot visit is screen, so we are being asked to use the value of screening, and otherwise we are being asked to use the values present in visit variable but converting it into proper case and for the record with ablf is equal to y set to baseline so this part of the derivation can be handled before we create ablfl but this can be written only after we derive our ablfl is equal to, uh, after we derive our ablfl uh, flag and then a visit n for the source records if visit is equal to screen then set to minus one else set to vs dot visit num 
and then for the record with ablfl is equal to y then we are being asked to set the value to 0 and ablfl so it says set to y on the latest record with non missing result on or before treatment start date for each parameter within a subject now let us move to the programming aspects so here we'll be using adsl and vital science as input so here we have data for vital science for sub two subjects one is diastolic and for two parameters diastolic blood pressure and systolic blood pressure so and we have adsl data set which contains the treatment start date for each of the subjects so here if we see we are using our we are creating a new data set called vs01 by using the data set vs as input so and we are creating the derived variables on these source records so all of these records are coming directly from the sdtm vs data sets so we generally call these as source records so we are adding some derived variables to these source records so we are creating param cd param n param adt a visit eval and so on so let us now see these lines of code one by one so we are creating param n and param cd here so by checking if vs test cd is equal to S sys bp and vs position is equal to sitting then we are assigning the text sts bp to param cd and one to the value uh, one wa value one to the param n variable so we are doing that using do group processing whenever this condition is met so two statements will get executed one for creating param cd and one for creating param n so in the next step we are in the next line of code we are creating param cd for stdbp and param n for it so we are assigning the text stdbp so when vs test cd is equal to diabp and vs position is equal to ct and we are assigning the number 2 to param n variable so as mentioned in the specification and then we are creating param variable here we are concat we are converting the values present in vs position to proper case so what would happen with proper cases we we have one word so the letter in that word would, first letter in that word would be converted to uppercase and the remaining letters would be converted to smaller case or the lowercase letters and then we are concatenating the resulting proper case values of vs position to the value present in vs test we have also added a space in between these two and then we are concatenating an opening parenthesis and then concatenating the unit value to this resulting value and then we are closing the parenthesis so we are creating param variable with this statement and then we have adt derivation so for adt we were asked to extract the date portion from vsdtc and convert it into numeric so in iso 8601 notation so the date values the first 10 characters in the dtc would represent the date component and later we'll have the t separator and uh, the time portion collected so but only if even when date is collected the first 10 characters would correspond to the date but uh, if only time is collected we'll have the time delimiter and then the followed by the hours minutes and seconds so irrespective of whether time is collected or not we can still write this line of code to extract the date component so we are using substr function to extract the first 10 characters here and then the resulting date extracted is being converted into numeric value using input function using yymmdd 10 dot in format and then we are creating our eval variable as per the specification it was supposed to be a copy of vsstresn so we are simply assigning the values from vsstresn to eval here and then we are creating the a visit variable so but a visit variable definition involved two steps one before creating our ablfl and one after creating the ablfl so here we are handling the portion of the code for a visit before uh, creating ablfl so if sdtm visit variable is having a value of screen then we are assigning the a visit value as screening as specified in the specification again for a visit n so we were visit for screening so we were asked to put a value of minus one in the a visit n variable so we are doing that here within the same step and then otherwise we are uh, we were asked to convert the visit variable values to proper case for a visit so we are doing that here and then we were asked to use the visit num values for a visit n. so we are doing that here in this line of code 
and then here we are applying a format of date9 to our ADT variable. Let us take a quick look at our output data set vs01 and then see how our derived variables are looking like. So here we had variables till vsdtc in our source data set and now we have added these derived variables on the source records. So one is param cd, param, param n, adt, eval, a visit and a visit n. So that completed our derived variables creation on the source records. And next comes the core part of this lesson, so which is identifying the baseline flag. So in order to create the baseline flag, we have seen that we need to compare the assessment date, uh, whether it is prior on or prior to the treatment start date or whether it is after the treatment start date. For that, we need to fetch our treatment start date alongside these records so that we can compare our ADT with treatment start date. So we can do that by merging our ADSL data set to vital science data set. So here I am creating a data set called ADSL01 by reading ADSL data set and keeping only U sub JD and TRTSTT. So you might wonder like why I have only like when I have only two variables here in uh, ADSL. So why am I again writing this step to keep only those two variables. So I again, when I write the code, I go with the assumption that I am using on it on a full study where I have all the variables. So though I am using only the required variables as part of this demonstration. So here I am keeping U sub JD and TRTSTT and creating the data set called ADSL01. And then I am merging my ADSL01 data set to my vital science data set here, which has all derived variables. So I'm creating this data set called VS02. So what will happen is the TRT SDT variable present will be populated on all rows present in VS01 in the newly created data set VS02. Let us take a look at VS02 and see if TRT SDT is reflected. So we have merged TRT SDT for each at each subject level. So for this first subject, we have 29th April as the treatment start date and for the second subject we have 15th October as the treatment start date that is now populated on all rows of the vital signs. So now in the next step what we need to do is identify the pre-treatment records with non-missing result. So we are doing that here. So we are creating a data set called base01 by using the data present in VS02 which is this one and in here we are filtering only those records which are having a date less than or is equal to treatment start date, which means on or prior to treatment start date. And at the same time, we were asked to filter the results with no, uh, records with non-missing results. So we are checking for that condition where eval not is equal to missing. So, and I am also checking for this missing less than ADT less than or is equal to TRD SDT. What does this do is we are checking whether both ADT and TRT SDT has a non-missing value. So if we will have to read it as if ADT not is equal to missing and TRT SDT not is equal to missing and ADT less than or is equal to TRT SDT. So there can be uh, vital signs data available for subjects who do not take treatment. So for those subjects we will do not have any uh, meaning for baseline. So this condition would actually eliminate those records. So let us take a look at our base 01 data set. So out of all the records which were present in VS02, we had 16 records here. So if we take a look at base, so we have eight records, which means there are eight records overall, which could qualify for the definition of baseline uh, pre-treatment period. So these are the records which are collected on or prior to treatment start date with a non-missing result. So out of these records, so for a subject and parameter, there can be one or more records. So as per the definition, if there exists one or more, if there exists more than one record for a subject and parameter, we'll have to choose the latest available. So how are we ensuring that the latest record is being picked? So here, if we see, we are sorting the records based on the subject ID, paramen, ADT and visit num. So what will happen when I sort this way is all the records of a subject come together and within a subject, if there exists multiple records, or multiple parameters, all the records of the parameter come together. And if there exists multiple records for that parameter, so the record with lowest date would come on top and the highest date would come at the bottom. 
and then even if there exists multiple records on a particular day so what would happen here is the record with highest visit num value would come at the bottom and record with lowest visit num value would come on top so we are giving a preference on how the record should be ordered so with this sort order what will happen is the record with latest date within a parameter would come at the bottom so what we need to do in the next step is to filter the last record within each parameter so we are doing that here in this data step so we are using base 01 as input and we are creating a new data set called base 02 and we have we are indicating to the data step such that we, that our data is sorted based on subject id paramen adt and visit num so and then we are using this subsetting if statement we are using this subsetting if statement to filter the last record within each parameter of a subject and we have ensured that the last record would be the corresponding to the latest date with this sort order here and then we will have one record per subject per parameter in this record and then i am keeping uh, only the required variables of u sub jd param adt visit num and ablfl so i am creating ablfl and assigning a value of y here on this line of code so let us take a quick look at our base 02 so here if you see so we have one record per subject and parameter so if we see here there is one record for paramen for subject 1001 and one record for paramen is equal to 2 similarly there is one record for uh, paramen of 1002 and paramen 2 for 1002 so when we are processing this way we need to cross check if we are exactly getting one record or not so and then we'll have to use these uh, information present in this data set to populate our ablfl on the parent record so far we have only identified the record that is becoming as baseline but we will have to flag this on the parent data set which had all the records so if we see here for subject 1001 for paramen is equal to 1 that record with ADT of 29th April on whose record with the visit num is 2 the baseline flag had to be populated so we can just merge this data set to our parent data set at subject ID paramen ADT and visit num so that this AVLFL would be populated on the parent data set so we will do that in the next step so we are sorting our parent data set vs02 based on subject id paramen adt and visit num and then we are uh, using merging our base 02 to vs02 and creating this data set called vs03 and we are merging at subject id paramen adt and visit num so if we take a look at vs03 on these records uh, the ablfly would be populated so let us scroll to the right and if we see for subject one for param one we have seen that the record with an ADT of 29th April was becoming baseline so this was in fact the day when the treatment was taken as for the definition it was last record on or prior to treatment start date if the record exists on the date of treatment that has to become the baseline so here we have the baseline flag populated accordingly on so we had two subjects two parameters so we are expecting four records to be there when we filter back so we have only four records so now what we are doing here is in the next step we are trying to complete the definition for a visit and a visit n and a visit on the baseline record so we were asked to set the value in a visit n variable to zero when ablfl is y so we are doing that here and we were asked to use the text baseline for a visit variable when ablfl is equal to now that we have our ablfl derived so we are assigning the or completing that derivation for these two variables again and then finally i'm sorting the data based on u sub jd paramen and adt and finally creating a data set called output by keeping only the required variables so let us take a quick look at our final output so here we have subject paramen param cd param adt eval a visit a visitant trtsdt and ablfl so these are the final variables that would make significance when we are deriving ablfl so we are keeping only the derived variables here
this is how you can create baseline flag when the definition is last record on or prior to treatment start date. Thank you for watching and keep learning.